Good morning, Eve. What's up, kids? I'm so glad to finally see you again here in this your channel where you can take your English classes. As you know, I'm the teacher Orlando, and today we're finally back after two long months. So we are going to start with a topic that is quite simple. You already know it, but we haven't seen that topic before in this channel, okay? So please take out your notebooks and start writing everything that appear on the whiteboard, ok? Antes de comenzar, recuerden que deben tener anotado estos tres datos, name, group y school. En name quiero ver su nombre completo con todo y apellidos, en group el grado en el que van y su grupo ya sea A o B, y en school anoten por favor 20N si son de la 20 de noviembre, o JMMP si son de la José María Morelos y Pavón. Today's date is Thursday, 4th. The month is March. The last time we see was December. In fact, this is the first time that I write down the number 2021. That's right. Yeah, I know that this is the third month already, but we are now in the year 2021. Okay, and the verb is going to be restart. I think you have seen this verb before, I don't know, on computers, on your cell phone. But yeah, in fact, we are already restarting our English classes. That's why I picked that verb, okay? Okay, kids. So today we are going to see the human life cycle, okay? By the way, if you cannot read how to see the, the letters or something, you can see in the subtitles, which now are always available, okay? You don't have to act activate them anymore. They are always appearing, which is great, right? So, uh, we are going to talk about human life cycle, which means how we as humans are called from the moment we born till until the, we are old people, okay? Uh, we are going to see some, I don't know, 11, 12 words. I'm going to write the word. You, you have to write also the meaning. And I'm going to write, uh, I'm not going to write, I'm going to draw. Okay? You know that your teacher Orland always likes to draw in, in every example possible. Okay? Well, by the way, we have a new student over there. So, without further ado, Let's continue with this topic. All right, let's begin. First, when we born, we are babies, like Maggie, or even like this character, you know that it's also known as Baby Yoda, right? Baby, which in Spanish means bebé. Uh, there's no difference if it's a baby boy or baby girl, okay? Baby. Well, next one is a word that it doesn't exist as a word in Spanish because it refers to those boys or girls, or well, child, <laughs> that, or maybe babies. I think it's better to say babies that they are barely able to walk. To walk they can barely walk, they can barely mm, talk, okay? For example, um, People that are like a year, um, I don't know, like a year or two years old, like for example, a baby that is two years old or three years old. Uh, I think it's like even the children that go to kindergarten, okay? Toddler, okay? Toddler. I will say this word in Spanish eh, as a um, niño chiquito o niña chiquita, okay? Toddler. And over here I wrote girl, okay? Why I wrote girl? Because here we have a character who is a girl, okay? Lisa is a girl, niña. 
but toddlers can be boys and can be girls. Okay. For example, when you were at kindergarten, or when you were even younger, you were toddlers. Okay. After, um, then and long ago, uh, time before, you were babies. But now, you are child. Okay. Child. In Spanish is like infante. Uh, what do I mean with that word? Well, you are a child. And the plural of this word is children. Okay? Children. In Spanish it means niños. But we can say also infante. And in this word we can have boys and also we can have girls. Okay? I wrote it in this one boy because the example is Bart, who is a boy. Okay? So, although we have three words here, you, can, you have to also write down these two with their meanings. Okay? Baby, niño chiquito, niños, niña y niño. Uh, this differ because this refers to um, the childhood. Okay, and this refers to a male child. All right, let's continue with number four, which is teenager. Teenager, as you can see, well, it's difficult to see here, but they are dressed as a, as a, what, after elementary school, like junior high school, okay? You know that junior high school or secondary schools here in Mexico, um, they use a vest, green vest, and at this another kind of shirt and gray pants and girls' gray skirts. Okay, that's why I draw this that kind of suit for them. Okay, well. Teenagers, adolescentes. Okay. She even has this part of her hair dyed, which I think is not allowed on those kind of schools. <laughs> well, next we have adults. Okay. Or adults. Adults. Like Homero and March. Okay. They are adults. Adultos. But then I wrote here some some letters. I don't know how do you pronounce this one? M R. Yes, those are the letters. But when you see these two letters before the name of a man, it means señor. And you are going to pronounce it Mr. For example, he He is Mr. Homero. Okay. And these three letters are going to be before the name of a woman. Okay. And this is going to be pronounced Mrs. For example, March is Mrs. March. Mr. Homero and Mrs. March. All right. I know that there is not a letter A. However, this is the way they are going to be pronounced these two words, okay. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, which these two words also can fit with these two characters, Mr. Abe and Mrs. I don't remember the name of uh, March's mother. Well, I'm going to say it later. Okay, last word is going to be elderly, elderly. Okay, uh, it refers to the people that, in Spanish we say, de la tercera edad, okay, people who is above 60, people that are already, that already got the vaccine for COVID-19, for example, they are elderly, okay, Uh, I think the best way to say that in Spanish is personas mayores. 
And here I wrote two words, okay? Gentleman and lady. Gentleman and lady. Gentleman means caballero. And lady is dama, okay? And also March can be a lady and Homero can be a gentleman, okay? And last but not least, um, the plural of these words can have a minor changes, okay? For example, the plural of this one is like it works as the word man. Remember that man, which is hombre, the plural, the plural is men, hombres. So in this part, gentleman is singular and gentlemen with an E here is going to be caballeros. And with lady, since this word ends with Y, we're going to change it in plural for an I-E-S, ladies, okay? I'm going to write example, wait a minute. There you go. I changed some words for their plural ways. For example, now it says gentlemen, caballeros, ladies, damas, children, which means niños or even hijos, and babies, okay? So please write everything down with their meanings in Spanish, okay, and also the drawings, because I like the drawings, and you have, um, and there's a, there's has been a lot of time since you haven't draw anything in my class, of course. <laughs> And that was it for today's class. This I think this class was very short. However, uh, next next classes will be kind of longer because I'm considered to include some topics that we are going to see on the Apprendex in Casas classes. Okay, so stay tuned for the for the Apprendex in Casa classes for of Thursday if you are in fourth grade and. The one on Friday, if you are in 5th or 6th grade, because we are going to talk about those classes next week, okay? For now, um, I'm going to say it again. I'm very happy to, to be here again with you, and I hope to enjoy, I hope that you enjoy this class, okay? So, um, that's it. <laughs> so long, kids. Hola, soy Goku. Les mando un saludo a todos los alumnos del Teacher Orlando y estudien mucho. ¡Jame, jame, ja! Aunque bueno, ¿saben qué? Yo nunca fui a la escuela y pues, nunca he trabajado tampoco y me va bien, así que, pues no sé, ustedes, si quieren, estudien. O bueno, sí estudien, sí, porque cojan si estudian. Bueno, ustedes no sé. Bueno, adiós. <risa>